Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the important topics from the chapter metals and non-metals. It is the second part of extraction of metal. If you didn't watch that video, first you watch that video, then come to this video. The topics which we are going to cover in this session are extraction of metals in the middle of activity series, extraction of zinc, extraction of manganese, termite reaction. These topics are very important in the exam point of view. Let's start the discussion. Extracting metals in the middle of the activity series. What is activity series? Activity series is the arrangement of metal according to the reactivity. The most reactive metal is potassium and least reactive metal is gold. So this is our activity series. So there are three groups, more reactive metal, moderately reactive metal, least reactive metal. Here we are going to discuss the extraction of metals which are moderately reactive like zinc, iron, lead. In this session, we are going to discuss the extraction of zinc. Extraction of zinc. There are two ores for zinc. One is zinc sulfide and second one is zinc carbonate. There are two ores. Ore is the mineral from which metals can easily and profitably extract, profitably separate. For zinc, there are two ores. One is zinc sulfide, second one is zinc carbonate. Here, we are going to discuss the extraction of metal from these two ores. Ore of zinc is zinc sulfide or zinc carbonate. There are two ores, zinc sulfide or zinc carbonate. First, we are going to discuss zinc sulfide. Here, you can see zinc sulfide. It is zinc sulfide. We are going to heat this zinc sulfide in the presence of oxygen. Here, it is zinc sulfide. When we are heating the zinc sulfide in the presence of oxygen, the process is known as roasting. If you are heating an ore in the presence of oxygen, that process is known as roasting. So here the process is roasting. When we are heating it, we will get two compound, two products. One is zinc oxide and second one is sulfur dioxide. There are two compound here, two products here, zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide. Zinc sulfide, it is zinc sulfide. We are heating that in the presence of oxygen. So plus O2 gives in the presence of heat, we are getting zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide. So it is a reaction. Zinc sulfide ZNS plus O2 gives in the presence of heat, we are getting zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide. If you are balancing, it will be the reaction. 2 ZNS plus 3 O2 gives 2 ZNO plus 2 SO2. It is a balanced equation. If we are taking zinc carbonate, here it is a case of zinc sulfide. Here the ore is zinc sulfide. If you are taking zinc carbonate, there is a small change in the process. It is zinc carbonate and we are going to heating it in the absence of oxygen. In the previous reaction, it was in the presence of oxygen. Here we are heating that ore. We are heating zinc carbonate in the absence of oxygen. The process is known as calcination. Heating the ore in the presence of oxygen, it is roasting. Heating the ore in the absence of oxygen, it is calcination. So it is calcination and we are heating it. When we are heating, we are getting zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Here you can see it is zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. So there are two products, zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Let's write the chemical equation. Zinc carbonate gives in the presence of heat. We are heating it in the absence of oxygen. Heat, we are getting zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide. In both reaction, here you can see there are two reactions. In these two reactions, common product is zinc oxide. In these two reactions, the common product is zinc oxide. We are going to take this zinc oxide. When we are reducing this zinc oxide, we are going to get zinc. The reduction takes place with the help of carbon. Let's see that. When we are reducing the zinc oxide in the presence of carbon, ZNO plus C, it is a reaction. If there is a reaction between ZNO and C, the C and O, they are going to combine each other. These two elements, these two elements are going to combine each other. Here you can see CO, means C plus O, CO. So the products are ZN plus CO. This reaction is known as reduction using carbon. Here C is carbon. So we got zinc. Now let's write the reaction. Roasting. Roasting is the process of heating of ore in the presence of oxygen. It is roasting. Calcination. Heating of ore in the absence of oxygen is known as calcination. These two topics are very important. Extraction of zinc. The ore of zinc is zinc sulfide or zinc carbonate. 
depends on the ore we can select calcination or roasting if you are taking zinc sulfide the method is roasting if you are taking zinc carbonate the method is calcination when we are heating zinc sulfide in the presence of oxygen there will be zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide so the reaction is 2zns plus 3o2 gives 2zno plus 2so2 when we are heating zinc carbonate in the absence of oxygen there will be zinc oxide and carbon dioxide zno3 gives zno plus co2 here this zno is common we are reducing it zno is then reduced to zinc with the help of carbon zno plus c gives zn plus co these are the steps involved in the extraction of zinc reduction using displacement reaction so here we are going to discuss reduction using displacement reaction what is displacement reaction in displacement reaction more reactive element will replace the less reactive element there is a replacement that is displacement if you don't know about displacement reaction click the link above and you can see the videos we are going to discuss the extraction of manganese this method is displacement reaction that's why we are going to discuss extraction of manganese first we are taking mno2 mno2 is the ore of manganese mno2 plus al aluminum is more reactive than manganese so what is going to happen here aluminum is this aluminum is more reactive than mn the more reactive element will replace the less reactive element the reaction is mno2 plus al gives mn plus al2o3 it is a reaction plus heat because it is exothermic reaction it is highly exothermic reaction that's why we are getting manganese in the form of liquid manganese is manganese is a metal but here it is a liquid because of this excess amount of heat it is a highly exothermic reaction there will be liberation of large amount of heat because of that heat manganese will be in molten form so that's why we are writing mn in bracket liquid why it is displacement reaction now you just observe the reactant side it was mno2 plus al mno2 plus al and after the reaction it is mn alone and al2o3 so aluminum is replacing manganese so the reaction is the replacement of manganese by aluminum aluminum is replacing manganese that's why we are getting manganese alone and aluminum oxide this reaction is displacement reaction the balance equation will be 3 mno2 plus 4 al gives 3 mn plus 2 al2o3 this reaction is also very important reaction can you identify the substances that are getting oxidized and reduced oxidized means addition of oxygen oxidation is the process of addition of oxygen and reduction is the process of removal of oxygen we need to compare the reactant and product here it is mno2 and after the reaction here it is mno2 and after the reaction we are getting mn mno2 is changing into mn which means it is a removal of oxygen mno2 now it is mn there is no oxygen now so it is removal of oxygen that is reduction reaction it is reduction reduction reaction and now we can go for aluminum here it is aluminum aluminum is alone here and after the reaction after the reaction it is al2o3 addition of oxygen so it is oxidation al to al2o3 means it is addition of oxygen so it is oxidation we can write oxidation which one is undergoing reduction which one is undergoing oxidation so the answer is mno2 reduction al oxidation next one is thermite reaction this is very important reaction it is having lot of application we are going to discuss that we are taking fe2o3 thermite reaction is related to fe2o3 and aluminum fe2o3 plus al what is going to happen here aluminum is more reactive than fe so what is going to happen here there will be replacement the product will be fe plus al2o3 the previous reaction is similar to this reaction in the previous reaction it was mno2 here it is fe2o3 fe2o3 is changing to fe this is also displacement reaction aluminum is replacing iron then it is changing into aluminum oxide and iron is alone now here this iron is in liquid form can you tell me the reason why iron is in liquid form why what is the reason behind it because this reaction is highly exothermic there is a production of large amount of heat because of that heat iron is going to melt and because of this molten iron we can use this reaction to join the railway tracks that's the application of this thermite reaction this reaction is known as 
thermite reaction or thermite reaction. Now you can see the balanced equation here. Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives 2Fe plus Al2O3 plus heat. The balanced equation is very important. You need to learn the balanced equation and now we can define thermite reaction. These displacement reactions are highly exothermic. During the reaction, there will be production of large amount of heat. This heat will melt the iron. So this reaction is used to join the railway tracks. This reaction is known as thermite reaction. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Visit our website www.winpointonlineclasses.com. Support us for providing free online classes to everyone. Thanks for watching.